opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. d5 takes space in the center, attacks the c4 pawn and helps control the e4 square. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. x5 recaptures the pawn, controls the e4 and c4 squares and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Bg5 develops the bishop and pins the knight on f6 the knight cannot move without losing the queen. c6 supports the d5 pawn and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. qc2 develops the queen to a useful diagonal and allows white to castle queen side. b7 develops the bishop toward the center, prepares to castle and breaks the pin on the knight. e3 protects the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. NBD7 develops the B8 knight to support the knight on F6. BD3 develops the bishop to make a battery on the B1H7 diagonal. This reveals an attack on a bishop. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. It is the last book move. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is excellent. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is a mistake. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. This threatens to create a passed pawn. There was only one good move in that position. It is a blunder. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a vulnerable pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. This allows the opponent to pin a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This adds pressure by pinning a knight. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to reveal an attack on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This is a fair move. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This protects the attack knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. 
This threatens to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a mistake. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. It is best. This protects an underdefended knight that is under attack. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This permits the opponent to unpin a pawn, allowing it to provide defense. It is a mistake. This frees a pinned pawn, allowing it to provide defense. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. This allows the opponent to fork pieces. It is a mistake. This ignores an opportunity to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is excellent. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to fork pieces. It is a mistake. This is the way to win a pawn. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This ignores an opportunity to pin a knight. It is a mistake. Takes back. It is best. This reveals an attack on a rook. It is excellent. This wins material. It is good. Recaptures. It is good. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a knight that was threatening to win material. It is an inaccuracy. This steps away from the checking bishop. It is good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This allows a forced checkmate. It is a mistake. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game was messy, but white got the better of it.